introduce you to uh, Stuart Ellsley, who's oh. going to tell us a little about his uh, tackle shop here, which is one of the best in the North Midlands, I think. <laughs> East Midlands. East Midlands. East, I Midlands. Better say East Midlands. East Midlands. Am I East Midlands? You're, in, right? you're, okay. in, you're in a little bit of Rutland and a very large fly <laughs> corner of Leicestershire. <laughs> well, welcome. Uh, yeah, nice to see you, and thanks for coming to have a look at us. Uh, I understand you want to do a bit more with the beginners over here and beginners That's courses right. and that sort of thing. Well, we do tend to sort of specialise in looking after the beginners as well as, as obviously offering a full range of product that the uh, the general public will want all the time. But I do like to encourage beginners, not necessarily by selling the cheapest and the, the, the most economical way, but actually giving them a graded way of starting yeah. without actually having to have a load of kit that they don't want or it's just being piled up into a package because it's convenient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I prefer to give the customer a quality of choice but at the same time something that fits within their price range mm. and we sort of have the brands that go along with it with the Greys and the Hardys brands with the um, a Vision and and Shakespeare's and Witchwood giving a, 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 a broad range of product at prices that fits their pocket. I like to think we can get someone started for about sort of 60 pounds and people mm -hmm. say 60 pounds that's cheap but it's a rod and a reel and a line that I would be happy to let them use mm -hmm. and would be more than happy for you to go yeah. out that you could use. So these are balanced balance outfits. So it's all they? balanced, yeah. it's all, all, all with what they want. Yeah. Yeah. So I noticed, uh, what was your well, most popular size rod you'd sell here? Uh, the best, the most popular for the for the average reservoir angler will be nine foot six for a seven weight. Mm -hmm. That is where we start. Mm -hmm. Now if it's a big guy like me or mm -hmm. or uh, he's got a lot of muscle on him or whatever, mm -hmm. then we might look at the sort of ten foot for an eight weight. Mm -hmm. But that would be very, very, very rare. At the bottom mm -hmm. end of the market a nine foot mm -hmm. with, with a six weight for a lady or even an eight foot six like when you were here recently yes. with the kids, an eight foot six for a five weight. Ideal. Perfectly yeah. ideal to get them started yeah. and not be over and over oppressive. Yeah. But at the same time you don't want to be selling something that's, that's not going to work mm -hmm. because at the end of the day they've got to be able to cast yeah. and if they can cast a sensible line and, and feel it it's going to work for them. So out here a lot of them I notice do lock style fishing yes. true lock. Yeah. and they would be really doing that with a 10 foot rod more than that. Ideally a 10 foot rod would do the best. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A 10 foot rod with a 7 weight or even a 6 weight mm. Uh, a six weight ten foot with a seven weight line gives an awful lot of compromise because you can feel the line going into the wind if it's a bit windy, but yeah. if it's a flat carb, you've got the presentation of a six foot right. of a six weight. But when you look at things like uh, general lock style fishing for your average angler who wants to get started and he's going to be a bank angler and a boat angler, then ten foot seems to have been be the, the norm. Yeah. It's become the, the average, and it's also a seven weight is great because you can put an eight weight on a seven rod and you can also put a six weight double taper on it and it'll feel it. Yeah, I'm sure. Now a lot of beginners will be confused and, 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 and Oh, exactly. This is, of rods, this, is, this is but this this is you know this is where I'm at. Yeah. But I mean at the same time, you know, when we start off with a beginner, the first things we need to explain to them before they even pick up a rod is how it works, mm -hmm. why it that's works, what, that's exactly and, what and, doing. And, and and the whole presentation yeah. of why a, sh a fly line is shaped the way it is. Once they've understood the dynamics, I'm convinced that they get a better idea when oh, they get in the hands so. of an instructor. Right. I mean, and I think that's where a lot of people are missing out and they're not mm. explaining how it works or why it works. Oh, I think we start very with the beginning. And, and, then, yes. and, then, and then we get them a rod in their that's hand right. and say, that's, that's why it. it does that. Because it makes so, so much easier. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've been quite successful. I mean, I'm, no, I'm certainly not trying to preach uh, or, st or tread on people's toes when I say that we've had about 20 or 30 guys through here since we had you here mm. for that day who, who just wanted to have a go mm. and, and started them off. And for, for 10 minutes, we explained the dynamics of how it all works. That's right. It's so much easier to get someone in their mind why it's doing what it's doing when you get them out on the grass to get a line working. Well, the first part of my course. Exactly, and, and, and that's what it's all about. Well, it was, your, it was yeah. your conversation that got that started. Yeah. So, so, power, yeah, so we get that going, we're yeah. going to run a PowerPoint presentation yeah. when we do these courses, that's right. and we'll get you involved as well, because you can come and show them that's some That's right, well this is how it all, all fits together, and then we can then, with, uh, without frightening anybody, yeah. oh, because you've still got to break this perception that fly fishing is expensive, yeah. because it's not. No. It's right. not expensive. And to it's start. the gentle art of fly fishing. And, and it's the gentle art. It's not. It's yeah. not. It's not crude. Now, art. looking around this shop, mm -hmm. because I like going around this corner yeah. here and seeing all these lovely colours of wools and furs yes. and things like that. Obviously, you do a lot of fly tying. Yeah, yes, that's right. 
And of course, that's another thing we can talk to these beginners about, well, taking up fly tying. That's the next a, step. It is. I mean, there's got to be the ultimate, isn't it, in everybody's desire. We teach them to, 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 to go fly fishing and catch a trout. But if we can catch them at the same time, to teach them how to tie a fly to go out and catch a trout, right. that is the ultimate. That's, that's and the then thing, the ultimate yeah. is to yeah. tie your first salmon fly to go on the river and catch oh, your yes, first right. salmon on a fly that you've tied. I've got customers who are doing that now and they're just completely knocked out by the Won't thought. Yeah. And that's how it is with trout yeah. fishing. I mean, it's yeah. great. And we can show you hundreds of ranges of wonderful coloured flies, but if you can just tie that one that suits well, your catches product, fish. Crocky catches flies your, catch fish. Exactly. I would say exactly, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's but what yeah, I tie. It's, it's, it's wonderful, yeah, there's yeah. a full range of materials that we do and gradually that will, you know, as, as the fly tying season comes into, into vogue as it does now, uh, with, with, with winter coming, then more guys, we, we expand our range well, of, of course we go time. along here till about the end of November, don't we? We fish till the end of November at the yeah. Ibrook, uh, yeah. boats finish at the end of October, but the bank fishing this year I think will be very good, I yeah. think we're in for a, a good winter session that will finish in, in, at the end of November. Mm. When it's, when that's that's when oh, yeah. that's time enough. That's it's, the time. Yeah, yeah exactly. I think we've all had yeah. enough. Then. Yeah, you don't right. tie flies. Then. Yes, that's right. That's the whole idea. Looking yeah. around the, yeah. the you've got some wonderful clothing up here. Uh, that's I mean, right. obviously, it's from various prices. Again, again, it's all down to being sensible with the how, how 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 you market and price product. At the same time, you know, we're in a situation at a reservoir like this where you've got an impulse buy but also mm. you have to cater for the guy who has aspirations. Yes. So yeah. the impulse buy, you tend to look at the, 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 the lower end of the retail spectrum mm. and, for the, and for the guy who's more interested in, in aspirational buy, then you have the, the, the better end product that, 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 that we go to. The main thing is when you get out there on a day like yeah, today is keep it warm exactly. and dry. Exactly, keep warm, <laughs> keep dry and, and you will enjoy your fishing. Yeah. If you can be comfortable, you will enjoy your fishing. Yeah. But again, it's all down to these aspirations and what people want to mm. buy and what they don't. I mean, one of the, the ways forward that's becoming more popular and certainly is acceptable to anglers uh, who are fishing uh, on the boats as well as is, is it, they need a pair of waders at some stage of the mm. game mm. don't necessarily go for the cheapest of the of the neoprene varieties mm. they don't last that long whereas they can get a, a breathable wader with a pair of boots for sort of under a hundred pounds and you can wear that in the boat as well and it's ex and so a is breathable way that is a lighter uh, material? It's a, it's a totally different material. The, the traditional waders that we heard of, of in the past, or people have perceptions of, are a thick neoprene or a thick heavy rubber, mm. um, like a big pair of mm. Wellingtons that used to come up this high, and we didn't need that to happen. <laughs> Excuse me. Cut. Cut. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> We're talking about the neoprene chest waders. Well, the neoprene chest waders and neoprene thigh waders. Yeah. I've always been traditionally heavyweight things. Yeah. Originally, uh, prior to that, there was the product that came on the market was 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 like long Wellingtons, mm. uh, same sort of material, rubber, canvas line. They were quite heavy, quite hot, and quite uncomfortable. Modern trend now, through the, uh, technology, has allowed us to produce much lighter weight materials, and and breathable chest waders has like become become yeah. the, become the norm. Very, very reasonable in price when you consider that sort of seventy pounds will buy you a pair of neoprenes, whereas now ninety pounds gets you a, pa uh, a pair of che breathable chest waders that you can actually still wear in the boat down here at Ibrook. Well, all over the country mm. now, just chest waders are being worn in boats oh, for yeah. fishing. Mm. Okay, you have to wear something a bit softer on the foot rather than a pair of studded uh, wading boots, but nevertheless, you can wear a pair of boots in the boat. Because you've got a waistband you've got a and you've got a life jacket yeah. and that retains retains the air, mm. you actually float, you were safer in one of those than mm. you were in well, anything really else. Yeah. And plus the fact you've got a pair of waterproofs, That's right. which is, you know, you've got your jacket, you've got the, the, the breathable waders and you're waterproof you in a boat. Water, so, you, yeah. you know, you're getting a lot of different use and that's how technology has come forward into the, into the clothing market and the boots and how things have changed so much. But, mm. Yeah. Of course, yeah. when you've got those, you can go up to Scotland. Exactly, you've got a lot of them. use. You can you go can stream fishing. Stream fishing, everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah. 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 And they don't take them. No. You can, no. uh, they do get holes in now. Oh, they, they get them. But uh, it's, it's nothing but like so as, those. But they, <laughs> but they don't perish like no. the rubber varieties no. do. No. And that's, that's, that's the great yeah. thing. And they've got a lot more usability. Yes, a long way we've, we've come since uh, the 1800s when they used to wade in the tweed. Exactly. Uh, with their bit of canvas around their socks. 
and uh, when their legs went blue, they came they came out. That's right. <laughs> Things have changed so, sorry, a lot better than The most be. important thing I've always believed in, from, from fishing and as a beginner's point of view, is be comfortable. Mm. If the customer and the fisherman buy some gear and they're comfortable in it, they can enjoy their sport far, far more. Yeah, Rather, than, yeah. There is nothing worse than trying to go fishing and being cold because you just lose interest. Well, they do, yes. They just yeah, lose interest. Yeah. And that's yeah. a fair comment. Yeah. You know, if you're comfortable, then you're going to have a nice day out. Yeah. And that's nine-tenths of the battle, whether you be on a, ramp, a salmon river or whether you be on the bank at Ibrook. You know, it's, it's just, it doesn't, you need to be comfortable. Tell me, Stuart, do you mm. do a mail order? Yes, we do a full mail order business. Yeah, we have our website, the ibrooktackleshop.co.uk, mm. and we have a mail order catalogue which is um, due for renewal in the, this this winter. We although we haven't got that far as far as planning yet, yeah. but yeah, we do. We but do. This a is the way order. forward. I think. This is, think we like to be able to. Oh, yeah, we have a, the website is is more up to is, is a lot more up to date than any catalog, any printed publication can be because it's it's more immediate, it's mm, more exact. Mm, mm. But yeah, ibrooktackleshop.co.uk is our main portal, and mm. we're very pleased with it. Mm. It's a new site. We used to trade as uh, rutlandfishing.com, mm. but uh, now uh, now we're here full time with uh, it's mm. better. I, I remember a few years ago you sent me a whole lot of stuff out to Portugal. That's to, right. To keep I, did. Trying I did, yes, all those hooks and all that. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yes, things are good. Yeah, from that point of view, we're moving forward and it's how technology is. Mm. And, uh, you know, being a little play, you know, we, we can offer as, as, good as, uh, as good as business as anyone can offer. And we try to be uh, you know, the most important thing of all with mail order is if somebody comes into your shop or to your website, our shop, our mm. website. Mm. I expect they, they want to be treated exactly the same as if they came in here. If they see, see something on our website, they should have it the next day. Mm. I can't get it to them the, the same day because it's physically impossible. But if they came shopping and went and were in a city, they couldn't go fishing with it until yeah. the next day. That's how I believe yeah. we should be as a business. And that's why anyone who buys anything from us, mail order, is in the post that day and it's out. So if we're stuck up on the tweed, we can you ring can you up and you can send day. me the next day. Uh, yeah, 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 it'll be delivered really, and that's yeah. all we can offer. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's great. the best thing we can offer yeah. and it's personal. Mm, that's right. So yeah. there you go. There's well, that's a little bit about Ibrook Tackle Shop. Uh, and uh, perhaps we could go outside now and have a look at what we're going to do and some of the boats and things we might be fishing in at some time and uh, take it on from there. Take it from there. Yeah, thank well, you. Thank you, Stuart. Nice, nice to see you. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.